Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Susil this side and this is continuation of PySpark tutorial. So in this video we are going to see about the array type array and array contains function inside the PySpark. So today's agenda is first we'll see about the array type then we'll see about the array function and at last we'll see about the array contains. So what is the array type? So array type is one of the data type inside the array. If any column is having array type of data, then the data type of that column should be array type. Next is the array. So array is used to create a new array column by merging the data from multiple columns. So let's assume we have two different columns and we just want to combine those two columns and generate a new column and that column will be array type. Then we can use the array function. Next is the array contains. So as name is suggesting, if your array containing some of the string, then this function will return true. Otherwise, it will return false. So let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical. So here, as you can see, first I'm going to import few of the data types. So string data type, array type of data, we just want to include this data type as well. Struct type and struct field. So next we have this data. So this data is having total three rows. And here we can see this is the skills. So on the skill level, we are having area of Scala, PySpark values like that. And then we can see the work profile. So another column could be work profile of this is the PySpark and ADF. Then we have the current state and the previous state. So this data we are having. And here we just want to create the schema. So for creating the schema, stack type, stack field, all those things we have already covered in the detail in the last videos. So here we just want to create a new data frame by using this data. So the first column will be name and the data type will be string. Next, we can see the skill and the data type will be array type. And what will be the inner data type, like the values that we just want to store under the array? What will be the data type for those? So that is the string data type. Next, we can see array type again string. And for the current state and previous state, we have the data type as a string. So here we just want to create a new data frame. So simply we can use the data and schema. Let me try to execute and we'll see the output of this. So now data frame is created successfully. Here we can see name, skills, work profile, current state and previous state. In the skills, we can see it is having the array type of data that we can also verify here. The array type and on the zero index, we have ADF index one, we have Scala and index two, we have PySpark. Similarly, in case of work profile, we can see it is again the string array type and this array type zero index PySpark and index one will be ADF. So this is all about the data frame that we have created. So here we have used the array type. Next, what is the array? So if we just want to use the array, then I'm going to add one more column on this data frame and that column will be the combination of the current state and previous state. And it will be having another column as array type. So how we can do that? So for adding a new column on the existing data frame, we are required to use the with column. Here I'm going to specify the states. So this will be your column name. So first parameter will be column name and second parameter will be asking the expression that you want to use. So I'm going to use array. So this array function we have to import first. So for importing, we can use from PySpark dot SQL dot functions. And then we can use import and I'm going to use ASTIC. So here we can use array and inside this array function, we are required to specify the columns. So first column will be df dot current state comma. Second column will be df dot previous state. Let me put this in another data frame is df1 and just try to see the output of this df1. Let me try to execute and we'll see the output. So it will add one more column as states. Okay, this is because incorrect. Now we can see previous state. Now let me try to execute. So here we will be seeing like it is added one more column and the data type of this we can see as array. We can verify like here 
or we can also expand this and we'll see the data type here so for this state the data type is an array and the elements under that is a string so similarly we have seen how we can use the array function for generating the array type of column by combining two or more than two columns next we can also use array contains so what array contains will do array contains will help us to check whether any particular string is available under that array type column or not so how we can do that so here i am going to use the df dot i am going to add a new column and this column could be having array contains so this will be your column name next here we can use array underscore contains function so this is asking first your column name so i just want to check under the skills column so i am going to use the skills column then the second parameter it is asking the value so value what value we want to check i just want to check adf if your skills contain adf then simply we just want to get true otherwise we'll get false and let me see this df2 so this is a data frame tool let me execute it and here we can see the output so under this we can see it is having true true and false why it is false because if we can expand this skill and let me make it little bit bigger in the size so here we can see we don't have adf so that's why array contains value is false here we have adf we can see here we have adf we can see that's why array contains is true so i hope you have understood how we can use array type array and array contains so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video